to victory and organs, the learning of David. God, hear thou my prayer, and despise thou not my beseeching. Give thou attention to me, and hear thou me. I am sorrowful in mine exercising, and I am disturbed of the face of the enemy, and of the tribulation of the sinner. For they bowed wickednesses into me, and in an and in ire they were diseaseful to me. Mine heart was troubled in me, and the dread of death fell on me. Dread and trembling came on me, and darknesses covered me. And I said, Who shall give to me feathers as of a culver, and I shall fly, and shall take rest? Lo, I went far away, and fled, and I dwelled in wilderness. I abode him that made me safe from the, li the littleness, either dread of spirit and from tempest. Lord, cast thou down, part thou the tongues of them. For I saw wickedness and against sane in the city. By day and night, wickedness shall encompass it on the walls thereof, and unrightfulness be in the midst of them, and usury and guile fail not from the streets thereof. For if mine enemy had cursed me, subtly I had suffered, and if he that hated me had spoken great things on me, in hap I hid, I hid me from him. But thou art a man of one will, my leader and mine own, which took us together sweet meats and fellowship with me. We went with consent in the house of God. Death come on them, and go they down quick into hell. For waywardnesses be in the dwelling places of them in the midst of them. But I cried to thee, Lord, and the Lord saved me. In the eventide and morrowtide and in midday, I shall tell and show, and he shall hear my voice. He shall again buy my soul in peace from them that nigh to me, for among many they were with me. God shall hear, and he that is before the world shall make them low, for changing is not to them, and they dreaded not God. He holdeth forth his hand in yielding, they defiled his testament. The cheers thereof were parted from ire, and his heart nighed. The words thereof were softer than oil, and they be darts. Cast thy care or thought on the Lord, and he shall fully nourish thee, and he shall not give without end fluttering to a just man. But thou, God, shall lead them forth into the pit of death. Men quellers and beguilers shall not have half their days, but, Lord, I shall hope in thee.